The Honorable Member for Selkirk. Madam Speaker, over the last few months we have heard time and time again about the reign of fear for staff under the previous NDP government. Yeah. That both civil servants and political staff were told to, and I quote, suck it up after suffering harassment in a toxic work environment under the NDP. Our PC government is changing the atmosphere with our no wrong door policy. And I hear that today our PC government has followed through on its commitment to report publicly on statistics related to instances of harassment that occurred within government in 2017-18 while protecting the privacy of the complainants. Can the minister responsible for the status of women please update this house on this important milestone and how our government is creating a different type of work atmosphere than that under the NDP? Good question. Good. Order, order, order. The Honourable Minister for Status of Women. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and I'd like to thank my honourable colleague from Selkirk for that great question. Our government is committed to building a culture of inclusion, diversity and respect across mm. government. We also promise to provide greater accountability, and today we release that there were 378 investigations into harassment in the workforce last year. To that end, our government has implemented mandatory training for the civil service and all government political staff, and our efforts to increase awareness and better educate staff will be strengthened by the feedback we've received from employee consultations and the results of our external review. Our PC government stands with men and women who deserve to work in a harassment-free environment and change the toxic culture that was so prevalent under the NDP. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Here, here.